the book after you wrote the screenplay. Yeah. No, do you, when you have this, like, how do you write? Do you have a storyboard where you have these ideas? Do you, do you just kind of go on the fly and t- go wherever your creativity takes you? Well, sort of. I mean, like, I write from the, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 when I write my scripts, you know, I, I start with the first scene and then just go through the story. Now, normally, when I do a movie, you know, I have more or less the story worked out. I mean, like, okay, say, okay, and also because I'm dealing in genre and subgenre, so that even dictates a bit. Mm. I mean, if I'm writing Kill Bill, I pretty much know at the end of the movie she's going to kill Bill. All right, but right. exactly how she's going to kill Bill and how we feel about it at the end, well, that can be that's left open for c- conjecture. Now I need to get to there, but I can assume that that's going to happen. And in Glorious Bastards, I figure it's going to end with the big mission. <laughs> Now, exactly what goes down in the big mission is, is to be is to be revealed. Hmm. But that is, but it's a genre movie, and it's a bunch of guys on a mission movie, and we're heading in that direction. Um, so it's like a, a so normally I have it worked out. But what I've learned through trial and error, or just I guess from experience, what I've learned not trial and error, but from experience, what I've learned is. That little mapping out of more or less what happens in the story really only applies till the middle of the story. Because by the time you get to the middle of the story, well, now you know so much more before you ever started putting pen to paper. Mm. I mean, now I know who these people are. Now, now I am these people, these characters. I am them. They are me. Now I'm, I've, I, I truly know who they are. And now I've invested in this world to such a degree that the hope is by the 40% mark or the 50% mark that the characters just take it from me. Mm. And then from that point on, they're writing the story. Wow. So you're just essentially thinking through their eyes or thinking through their minds yeah. and behaving yeah. as them and, yeah. and just and knowing look, I who am they a are. storyteller, so if I right. have to steer them in a direction I think is more interesting or more exciting, well, then obviously I can do that. I have the power to do that. But I, I'm trying not to do that. I figure if they want to do it, they're right. The, right. Th- that is truth talking to me. And I figure they should know best. Yeah. 